Welcome everyone, this is a mobility only workout, so no sweating, just relaxed, working on your elasticity, on your recovery. So mobility workouts help you to recover faster and they also allow you to a little bit more of stretching and um, giving your body space in between workouts or after workouts. So let's start with shoulder rolls backwards, your fingertips are reaching left and right and then change direction and roll your arms drawing the circles into the air to the other side just keep your shoulders low and relaxed this is just mobility so it doesn't need to hurt you don't need to sweat just breathe circle your arms Wonderful. Then get down on the floor. Make sure you don't slip. This is like the worst part when you push back into a V and you start slipping with your hands and feet. So mat or sticky floor and then push back with the hips up and back into your V position. Make sure to lengthen the spine. So the down dog or inverse V position is a way to lengthen and relax the spine. And if you want to work on your core a little bit, warming up your center, then rolling forward, pulling the navel in, coming into plank position, and again pushing back into downward facing dog. Make sure you're rolling through the joints, mobilizing your ankles, your hips, your shoulders. Relax the head. Very important relaxing the head so a little bit of getting the temperature up but you don't need to push this not at all so we're marching on the spot basically and if you like to do this with a little bit more intensity pick the knee up shoulder height if you just pick it up hip height that's also fine just allowing you to warm up your body a little bit if you fancy the guard position so elbows are tight around your rib cage, hands protecting the head, the chin, and the hand is floating down to your ankle, to the outside of the ankle. Make sure you don't hunch forward, so stay upright, pick the chest up, pick the chin up, gaze eyes forward, very good, so three jump plank lunges you can do this stepping or jumping so remember this is just a mobility workout so you can do this as softly as you want or as intense as you want so start in plank position then bring one foot forward step back bring the other foot forward into low lunge and then switch again and then stay here and open and rotate up to the forward knee really rotating that upper body now you can bounce a little bit here this is great for mobility or you can simply keep it static just holding that low lunge position make sure you rotate every three times towards the bent knee the forward knee wonderful come on get back up shoulder rolls a little faster and I would like you to really focus on pulling your shoulder blades down lowering the shoulders and relaxing the head try to isolate the movement of the arms while pulling your fingertips out to the side and then change direction a little bit of sucking the navel in bracing the core and if you can arms a little bit faster just for checking if you can hold the core in that position keep breathing breathe slowly in and out down into the belly perfect then single lunges backwards kind of a slow pace I would like you to focus on range of motion range of motion means the biggest range your joints can do so that starts with the ankle the knee also the hip opening here and then have fun with your arms so your shoulders also want to move you can bring one up 
one arm front, one arm back. You can swing them. I also like someone sometimes raising my arms up when I do my lunge backwards, just, you know, to open the chest. Makes it easier to breathe, remembers, uh, reminds me to open the chest, lift the chest, lift the chin, and not hunch forward following gravity. But to fight against gravity. Perfect. Coming into our signature stretch that you should know by now. So we have this wonderful stretch routine that you might by now have integrated in your own workout routine. We're starting with low lunge, left foot forward. You can move this out, bring the hands down, really checking into your body where you feel tight spots, tight areas. Then bring the right hand down, open the left hand to the sky or ceiling rotating your chest towards the left knee making sure your upper body your spine stays in a straight line do not hunch over and then bend it forward giraffe stretch or forward fold over your left leg you can bend the left knee if you want to or need to relax the head including the whole back line all the way to the crown of the head into the stretch then come back down and you can either have this just as a plank or if you feel like it do a couple of push-ups no need to break any records here just warming up the chest a little bit and working on the core and then step back forward with the left leg low lunge come into the middle and then have both feet parallel, bending the left knee again, stretching the right inner thigh, opening the inner hip, and then lower it all the way down, rotating your right foot upwards to the sky or ceiling. This is hamstring stretch, toes pointing upwards, and then change sides, stretching the inner hip first. So bending the right knee this time, stretching the left inner thigh. Both feet are on the ground, toes and heels, and then lower all the way down. Bend the right knee fully. This is like a half squat position and the left knee and the left foot is turning upwards to the sky and ceiling. Wonderful. Then try the low lunge from the other side. Right knee is bent. Remember lunges. The knee is always above or even slightly behind the front of the heel, meaning the front of your ankle, so you don't over put too much weight on your knee. Then left hand down, right hand is circling up to the sky or ceiling, chest is pointing towards the right knee, stretch the left leg. Keep your spine straight and then fold it forward all the way. Relax the head, relax the spine, relax your shoulders. Great forward fold here. And yes, we're warming up a little bit again, coming back into plank position. And we do a little bit of running here on the spot. So you can run this and jump, or you can simply bring one knee front at a time. So this can be mountain climbers or mountain steppers as you like it and then come to the center bring your feet together roll it all the way up we're staying upright so now we're doing the three pulse lunges again allowing you to work on your mobility so when you lunge backwards you have these three pulses check into your spine keep your shoulders stacked above your hips as much as possible and keep your ears and shoulders in line as well so this is about being upright about picking the chest up keep breathing remember you can do whatever feels necessary to move the arms around and then also check into your legs you want to have great mobility in your ankles your knees Well, you might be a little 
little sweaty by now, but here we go again. We do some nice stretching. So let's do a little more stretching for the inner hip and the hamstrings. Come into temple pose, first of all, and bring the elbows to the inside of your knees. Really pressing with the arms against the inside of the knees. Push the hips down and back and then come up. Tabletop position, arms can either go to the side or towards hips or front. If you want to work your back muscles a little bit more like this, perfect. Yes, so working on the inner hips here, pressing the knees out and then coming all the way back up into tabletop, arms come front. Perfect. I bet you're feeling really, really good right now. And that's why we can go a little bit lower. So mobilizing our core still further. So we're rotating and flexing the hip. Come into a side plank position on your left hand. And you can take your time here. We have 45 seconds. This should be easy. Just opening the chest into that lovely T-stand on your left hand and then wrapping the arm around, trying to touch the back heel or back calf of your lower leg and then opening back up again. Do this slowly. You might want to do this with breathing in when you come into T and then breathing out when you flex. And you did this. That's it. Changing to the other side. So if you felt that on your wrist, you can shake it out and circle it a little and then come on to the right hand, right hand underneath the shoulder and then open and wrap again. Do this really slowly. We have a lot of time. <laughs> we have 20 minutes. So breathing in, coming into that T stand and then wrapping and flexing touching your lower and back leg, your right knee, calf or ankle here, really trying to flex and rotate the upper body at the same time. Yes, you can. <laughs> Keep breathing. Well done, you did this. And you're almost there. Just a, two more, three more exercises, two more stretches, but all nice and stretchy so come back up into standing side stretch and we do this alternating left and right so start first of all with pushing one hand to the side and following this sideways movement with the whole spine including your head so the crown of the head and your fingertips are following the same direction are bending over to the side and once you get this side bend c-shape like look you can include the same leg so same side arm and leg are crossing over to the side no forward bending no hunching keep the chest up and relax your spine in this beautiful side stretch now we come on the floor now you're done with all the standing stuff and plank stuff. So let's start with sitting down, bending both of your knees, putting your feet down and then simply twist the knees to one side, lifting onto the knees. This is, first of all, again, a side bend. So you're reaching one arm up and over, side bending while you're leaning over that one hand that resting on the floor. Now, if you do feel like it, if your spine allows it, if you want to do it, you can add a tiny bit of a back bend here. A little bit, just opening the chest. And this was wonderful. All right, let's add a hamstring stretch. We'll still be side stretching and maybe back bending but we do it sitting first. So this is kind of a hurdle seat, bending the left knee, stretching the right leg out. 
right foot is pointing to the sky or ceiling. And now when you start, first of all, with rotating your navel towards the straight leg and then bending all over, trying to reach the thigh with your navel, reaching all the way over with the chest towards your right foot, relaxing the head. Always remember that the spine doesn't end with the shoulders, it ends with the crown of the head, the skull. And then reach it up and over, this time keep the right leg straight and lift onto the left knee into that beautiful side bend or slight back bend, whatever you like. Remember, this is mobility, this is not to do splits or to over uh, overdo it we don't want to overdo stretches we just want to feel good feel great recover faster make sure to get the best out of our workouts and give our bodies every now and then time to get rid of waste products and gain the room and space that muscles and tendons and connective tissue need to expand and evolve so one side done then sit back down into the center and change sides so right now the left leg is straight left foot is pointing towards the sky or ceiling and the right knee is bent in this hurdle seat and now before you lean over and hamstring stretch on your left leg make sure that you rotate the upper body and orient your navel in direction of your left thigh so you want to lean over bend over your left leg left toes are pointing towards the sky and when you bend and fold over include the head the whole head into the stretch and then come up and over onto your right knee side stretch or tiny back stretch just for opening the shoulder and opening the chest wonderful got some nice music here so keep breathing in the rhythm breathing deeply into the belly allows you to exchange that oxygen. Do that one more time, really slowly, really present with your presence, with your attention in your body, feeling where does my hip wanna be at the moment? Where does my foot wanna be at the moment? Are my shoulders relaxed? Is my head relaxed? Do I have too much tension somewhere? And really come into your body enjoying this mobility workout. <laughs> you can stay lying on the ground, relying on our bellies. Coming into the scorpion twist with the hands reached out into T position. Bend the right knee and then twist it up and over so that the right knee reaches to the sky or ceiling and your right foot is touching the ground. And this is a rotation in your back. So you can turn the head into the opposite direction. So the head turns away from the knee basically whatever feels natural. So you will stretch your chest here a little bit, a little bit of a shoulder opener, depending on how high and far back you can reach the top knee, also a hip opener. And maybe a tiny bit of a quadriceps stretch here, lying down. So whatever feels good for you, we can change that if you want to or you just repeat the same exercise that we did now if you want you can reach the arms up in a v position and repeat the same thing with the right knee 
So arms either in V or in T position and again reaching the right foot up and over, lifting the right knee. Head is turned into the opposite direction and relaxed and lying on the ground. Come back to center and then change side, lifting the left leg and really focus on lifting the knee. So you want to be lifting the knee rather than the foot so that the knee is always higher than the foot. There we go. I hope that feels great. Always feel into your body. Do what's good for you. Do what feels good. We do one more and then you're all mobilized and ready for the day or ready for the shower or ready for whatever you want to do with your new body <laughs> so come back onto the ground with your belly then open your elbows to the sides come into a cobra cobra arms lifting onto your fingertips so now when you're opening the knee and twist it over to the left lift your chest a little bit and turn your chest and nose away from the knee. Coming back to center, changing side, lifting the left knee, opening the chest, reach your elbows out to the sides. And you can continue doing this if you have time, if you love it, or if you want to follow up with some more stretches. Otherwise, I'll see you next time when we hit some cardio core and kickboxing again. Bye.